Hi again, uh, here we are to continue talking about JavaScript and working with, you know, external APIs. And, uh, you know, so far we're doing pretty good. We've got um, Fetch working for us and it's printing a bunch of URLs and we just need to turn these URLs into images on our web page. Okay. And then later we can connect it to the search, um, the search parameter that you type into the box here and then we'll be in pretty good shape to apply some styles and then our, our site will be done right so uh let's let's talk about it right so here i am and so far i've i've looped through all my json data and i got the url okay so what i need to do next is i need to generate for each one of these i need to generate an image tag and insert that image tag into the DOM and I'm gonna put it like right um, here where um, where I you know I put this comment gif images here right so it's gonna go in this thing that's class results right so um, let's actually you know it'd be kind of good if we gave this an ID and that would kind of imply there's only one of them but we can actually use this class results to maybe actually maybe the ID would be good let's put an ID on this because there should really only be one of these we'll call it results as an ID also right okay cool so we got that and now let's let's generate it here so essentially we got to get a reference to the to the to the results element first and um, why don't we put that inside here let's say and I'm gonna put it before the for each loop okay so I'll say uh, const um, let's say um, element let's say results element equals uh, document dot get element by ID and then we'll say results and let me zoom out just a little bit okay so we got the element here and we'll use this to you know insert all of our images over here and we can do that with inner HTML right so let's uh, make another variable I'm gonna say let results equal we could make this even maybe how about result string or result HTML equals um, an empty string, right? And we'll want to put this into the inner HTML, right? So there's our, our mechanism, right? We're going to uh, get a reference to an element in the DOM. We're going to make a string, put a bunch of HTML in this string, and then insert that string into the inner HTML so when you do inner HTML essentially it just replaces everything inside of the element that you're targeting so all the inner HTML everything here is replaced right so um, and it'll be replaced with whatever is in result string so right now it would be just an empty string right there'd be nothing there but what we're gonna do is we're gonna generate a bunch of images here so what we'll do is we'll say you know results uh, results HTML plus equals means append to so we'll be adding you know whatever we put on this side everything inside these quotation marks will go inside of you know this string or be added to the end of it right and actually I'm going to use the back ticks here instead of the, the straight quotes right so we can insert variables in here and what we want to use is an image tag Oops, uh, right just like you would use if you were making a a regular HTML page and the image tag always takes a source right source attribute and you'll put the uh, the URL here so basically the URL is is this guy right so let's actually it'd be hard to it'd be kind of long to type this whole thing in here so why don't we um, break this thing apart right and what we'll do is we'll say const uh, URL equals object images fixed width URL right and then we can take the URL and put it inside here like this right um, oops we'll take a URL like that right okay and uh, that looks pretty good and actually we should put a couple other properties here so we should probably say what the width is right and uh, we can get that also from our um, 
from our object, right? If I recall, let's, uh, let's actually, um, I think it's this dot width like that, right? But let's test it. So if I take off the URL up here where I just print the uh, fixed width object, right? Then when I refresh here, oops, I got a problem. What did I miss there? Um, let's see, uh, template literal expression cannot be empty, line 41. Let's see. Um, oh, I, I, I got to put something in here. Let's put width in there, right? And then we'll refresh. Oh, there's all our cat. Oh, hey, it's actually working, right? So I got all the cats there. Um, they're all different heights. Um, and then there's all the data. So I was correct with the height. They give us the height also, and then they give us the width, right? So this one's height of 150 and width of 200. And then down here, this is height of 200 and width of of, of 200, right? So um, maybe let's also get the height. So this will be object dot images dot fixed width dot height, you know, and uh, we can insert that over here. Height equals, and then we'll insert the height like that. And there we go, right? And if you want, you can break this into multiple lines if you're using the back tick, right? So, so if you want, like maybe it's easier to read if we write it like that, you know, where we put the attributes each on their own line. And then really our images should have an alt also. And I don't know that they give us that information. You know what, I think it's actually up higher. So let's see, if I just go up to images right here, um, oops, and um, and refresh here, you can see it gives me all these images and they give us um, height. Actually, you know what, we gotta go up even further. Let's go up to object and see what object looks like, right? What did they give us here? They gave us uh, analytics, bit.ly URL, embed images, Oh, slug, funny cat animation, title. Maybe we should take the title and include it as the alt tag. So I'm going to go here and add another attribute. So I got to make sure I don't lose this little arrow at the end and the back tick. And we'll say alt equals. And what I, oops, I got to put the quotes and then the dollar sign here. And then we'll get, um, what was that object dot title right so we can do that and if we want to follow the same pattern that we're doing up here we can say const title equals object dot um, title and then we can just use title down here so maybe that's kind of a nicer way to do it right so let's uh, refresh and then let's check our work Okay, so this looks pretty good, and I think it's working here. What if I, um, I like this cat with the iPhone there. Um, so what if I go here and I inspect this, and I look at the image tags that I'm creating, and you can see there's the source. It's got a height of 200, width of 200, and then an alt of cute cat gif. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think we're in really great shape here to, uh, to continue. So uh, why don't we stop here and then we'll add a couple features and um, get our search, um, our search form working in the next video.